Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Televostro 5481 uh, RAM and or solid state drive, whatever your needs are at the moment. Also, you're going to see what's going on actually inside of the laptop, uh, the way battery looks, the way uh, Wi-Fi card looks, basically the way the motherboard looks as well. So you're going to have some reference if you are upgrading or changing some parts in your laptop. Okay, first of all, remove all your screws, <laughs> not yours, but laptop screws on the back panel. And uh, after that, remove back panel itself. It took me a few minutes actually to remove that. It was quite resistant. So I recommend you to take your time it, it will come off, don't push it, don't rush it. Okay, there we are, back panel is removed, that's how your laptop looks inside. There is your battery now, just a closer look. If you are looking for one to buy, at least you will have some reference here now. There is your Wi-Fi card also, solid state drive there. And a place for 2.5 inch hard drive, of course. And uh, first thing you, I recommend you to do is uh, disconnect your battery before you're gonna actually change your RAM sticks or disconnect your solid state drive or, or SSD drive. In my case now, it was a bit resistant. There's a bit of black tape on top of that connection so just loosen that tape before and then disconnect the battery itself take your time now there's no panic doing it just don't break anything there you go battery is disconnected there is my tdr4 ram it's eight gigabyte stick in it i'm gonna show you now how it looks like there we have it you will have some reference now if you're looking to buy another one or if you have four four gigabyte ram in it you know what to upgrade to i'm gonna put that back now and i'm gonna install another eight gigabyte ram in it so in total it's gonna have uh, 16 gigs of ram as far as I know, you can upgrade to 32 gigs, no problem. But you would need two by 16 gigs, of course. There you go, there's your spot for 2.5 inch solid state drive or hard drive. And there's also no connection for it, so you'd have to get a actually hard drive connection if you're planning to add extra drive or extra space at least. Okay, there we have, I'm disconnecting the solid state drive at the moment, I only have 128 gigabyte solid state drive in it. I'm not sure was that original or was that actually put in there by someone else, but I'm trying to focus now here. That's the solid state drive I'm gonna install. That's from Amazon. It's 256 gigabyte solid state drive. It's actually decent enough drive. It's a budget drive. So as far as I remember, I paid about 30 euros which would be around 35 dollars and it's actually fast enough so but if you have money buy a faster drive no problem okay everything is now connected you can connect your battery back also it's not going in easy but it will go in eventually there you go put the black tape back on it again and that's it we're done of course now when you're changing your solid state drive remember now <laughs> you would have to install windows again and that's gonna take another depending on your knowledge but 15 20 minutes to get your windows running again and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just uh, close all the screws now again on the back panel. And same thing again, when you are putting the back panel back, just press it in, 
there's some clicks you should hear. Don't go too mad now, it will close. And the same thing with screws. Don't go too mad, screw, like don't put too much pressure basically. Just when you feel resistance when the screw is in, stop it, that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave you at it now because that's pretty much it. So at least you've seen how the laptops, laptop looks inside. So if you're looking for some parts or anything at all, also, you can leave a comment there if, you, if you're interested in any other part of that laptop. And thanks for watching. And if you're happy with the video, subscribe and have a good life. Bye bye.